Executive chef Vani Pariachi is Durban born and bred and naturally she's well versed in home style cooking. That didn't stop her from deciding to explore other styles of Indian cuisine and so she went off to Delhi. On her return, she delighted local diners with her flavoursome menus and this week she joins Karishma in the kitchen as our guest chef. The Franchuk Valley draws residents and guests with an appetite for fine dining and there's a rich variety of culinary experiences on offer. One of the establishments offers a spicy eastern menu and it's where Karishma found executive chef Vani Padyachi hard at work in the kitchen. Welcome to Mela. Hi. Welcome to Marigold. Bonnie, you're a Durban girl like me, but now you call front your coat. I love it. You mean the mountains, the village, it's who I am, the essence of what I love doing. Cooking and there's an abundance of everything around here. Tell me, what do you do first thing in the morning? Pick up a basket and off to the farm I go to pick up fresh vegetables. Should we do it? Yes. Let's do it. One of the advantages of being located amidst active agricultural estates is that the freshest ingredients are just a few minutes walk away and a visit to the herb and vegetable garden is a great way to de-stress. Vani, I am so jealous that you have access to this exquisite garden. I'm blessed. It's beautiful, it's green and I know what I'm picking is fresh. It's farm to table and my guests are getting real food. Whatever's in season, we incorporate into our menu. And I'm already smelling this beautiful coriander, coriander. right here, one of my favourites. <laughs> it is gorgeous. It's the one herb that is always found in my kitchen. Okay. What is the best way to pick the herbs? I tend to get just the few in the sides and the middle because I want them to regrow. And they're great. I mean, smell that. Oh. When last have you had real oh. coriander? So let's go and pick some spinach. Perfect, let's go. Okay. Look at these beautiful leaves. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Where do we start? We're going to clip some okay. from this, the inner ones, because we want the young leaves to make a spinach puree. Okay. And then the bigger leaves we are going to use to make palak chaat. Sounds amazing. It is delicious. Okay, so we're ready to hop along to get some marigolds now. Yay! Did you know that marigolds are edible? I did not know that. They're gorgeous. They're peppery, a bit lemony. Go on, you're going to taste. I've put them on our marigold salad. Mm, very nice. So what we're going to do is pick a few stems. That looks good. Okay, so I think we have enough. So let's get back to the kitchen and do some cooking. Yes! Cool. <laughs> This is really so beautiful. Yeah, and I'm blessed. This is home. Bunny, where did your food journey begin? Durban. Growing up in a big family, it was always about food. I studied hotel and catering management in Amal Sultan, and it was always about cooking European food, never the food that I grew up with. And at some point, I just thought, I want to cook what is true to me, my heritage. Okay, so let's go to the kitchen and do some cooking with these beautiful ingredients we've just picked. So excited. Cool, let's go. Vani takes pride in preparing everything from scratch and in grinding and blending her own spices rather than relying on anything prepackaged. Okay, so we're going to be making butter chicken now. And stove on and butter. Butter chicken. Of course. We're going to melt that a bit. And then this sauce that we are using is a tomato and cashew nut gravy. So we're going to add a little bit of cumin powder, a little bit of kasturi murthy, the smell. some cardamom powder, just a pinch of everything. And then I'm going to drop some sauce in. Our next ingredient is a bit of cream. Just because we can. This one's definitely it's a good for the beautiful, Definitely. <laughs> it's a beautiful, rich dish, a touch of seasoning. And next ingredient is our chicken. We use deboned chicken thighs that's been in a marinade for 48 hours. And we cook it in the tandoor oven first. So that gives it that beautiful smoky flavour. Why chicken thigh compared to, let's say, chicken breast? I think that the breast 
it dries out if you're not too careful in cooking and the thigh is actually much more juicy and succulent and that's what we want yes and then a bit of honey just for a little sweetness because it's a tomato sauce that we've used it'll be a bit tart so that will just release that tartness. Right now, my mouth is salivating. Can we play it up? Yes, please. Let's go. Let's go. With the butter chicken taken care of, it was time to prepare the spinach fritters. So, what's next? We're going to be making palak chard. So, we have the spinach and we have the batter. Mm -hmm. And then to this, we've had a a little bit of ginger garlic, the main ingredient, the chickpea flour, a bit of corn flour, turmeric and Kashmiri spice. Okay. And a little bit of water, so we've added that into a batter, so we've made that into a beautiful batter consistency. What we're going to do is dunk the spinach into the batter. Do you remember at home you used to have the onion bhajis? Yes. This is exactly what it is. Beautiful. The spinach version, the healthier version of it. Deep fry that till it's nice and crisp and we pop it onto a paper towel and then we'll do another one. Dip the palak into the batter, mm -hmm. just dust off a bit of the batter and into the deep fry and always away from you. There we are. So let's plate these up. So that's our coriander mint chutney, palak, some tomato concasse, some onions, chopped red onions, chopped chili, some sweetened curd, and some chaat masala. I'm just going to add a blob of sauce there. And that's it. For the marigold salad, we have cucumber, some beautiful rainbow carrots, fresh ginger, slices of radish, spring onions, some diced red onions, beautiful cherry tomatoes, the main ingredient, some marigolds, a bit of lemon olive oil, mix all that ingredients together and then just pour it into a bowl, sprinkle of some chaat masala, chili, a little bit more marigolds on top and finish off with some fresh coriander that we picked. And there we go. You can download the recipes used for today's menu from the Mela Facebook page, where you'll also find all the other delicious dishes featured on the show. <laughs> so this is what Marigold's all about. It's all about sharing food. Looks amazing. There we go. Lunch is ready. I can't wait to tuck in. I'm going to use my fingers. Of course. <laughs> so good. It is good. Bunny, I've seen you work your magic in the kitchen today. What do you love most about being in the kitchen? The smell of spices roasting away, fat going spices, and then adding these ingredients, and then cooking and creating new dishes. That's what I love. Bunny, thank you so much for today. I've been like a kid in a candy store. I'm such a foodie, and you've delivered on all my food dreams. It's only a pleasure. I'm glad you came by. My mouth is watering. Can we keep eating? Yes. <laughs> Thank you.